Hello everyone, this is the House of Trunks, and I apologize that I haven't uploaded any new content for you guys. Um, basically because I've been really busy with, you know, life in general, but just wanted to you guys know that I have a new uh, Blu-ray film that I just wanted to uh, share to you guys. And this is one of my favorite uh, classic films of all time. And this is the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings trilogy on Blu-ray. So this one has six film extended editions with a 30 disc set. That's pretty massive. So it's got the Hobbit, the three Hobbit films, The Unexpected Journey, Desolation of Smog, Battle of the Five Armies, and then the trilogy of the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and Return of the King. Now I purchased this um, Blu-ray box from NZ, nzgameshop.co.nz or .com because um, I was looking for a, for the new release one which was the 31 disc set but unfortunately it's just a 4k and Blu-ray so they didn't uh, include some of the extras those bonus features the behind the scenes those are like um, the stuff that I'm, you know, been looking for. Instead, they just added just one bonus disc, uh, which was like a reunion uh, disc, you know, for the Lord of the Rings uh, actors and um, the director himself, um, Peter Jackson. So I didn't get that one because I heard so many bad reviews about it. So I decided to pick this one up instead of the remastered Blu-ray slash 4k because it it's wasn't um uh, available yet in my country so i decided to pick this one up and at least that i got some of the extras and bonus features in this uh box so right now we're just gonna have to unbox it for you now give me a sec let me just try opening this here now, I've been a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings ever since I was in my 16th, um, yeah, I think I was in third year high school back in the day. That was like 2001. Oh, no, it was 2002 when the theatrical release, DVD was released. Um, and man, the first six minutes of the... Uh, of the uh, what do you call that first film, uh, Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, I got fully invested to it. Have a beautiful prologue. I am. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'll just have to remove this one here. And here are the Blu-ray disc. So before we unbox each of them, uh, I'll show you the contents. That's available. Let's see, a four Blu-ray discs include uh, commentary, appendices, the Chronicles of the Hobbit, and same goes for the Lover of the Ring. So that's cool. So this one, yeah, this one actually arrived in the UK because uh, this wasn't, uh, yeah, this uh, box isn't available in New Zealand. So I reckon that I purchase one from there and I only paid for about 165 NZ dollars so yeah it's cool anyway we're just gonna bring out the blu-rays and ooh, what do we have here an extra booklet oh nice let's see this is the first film unexpected journey you can see here Gandalf is discussing with uh, Bilbo Hmm. So here are the contents you can get from the first film. And here are some extra scenes that you can see from the first Hobbit film. Let's see, this tree. Alright, those extra contents or pictures. This is the film, second film, Desolation of Smog. There you go. I love this artwork right here. I think this is uh, this was made by not sure if it's 
uh, done by Alan Lee, because he's the guy who drew or the artist of the uh, first trilogy of the Love of the Rings. So, yeah. Battle of the Five Armies. Here we go. It's 11 and 12. And here's the map of the Middle Earth, which is cool. Love it. And here's the Mordor. Hmm. Rohan. All right. Let's move on. Fellowship of the Ring. This is 13 to 14. Some extra features, appendices. You know, uh, Gandalf is actually my biased, but I'm leaning towards to Boromir. Um, that's because I I used to hate this guy in the first uh, first R of the you know the trilogy, Lord of the Rings, and then uh, at the end uh, where he uh, you know uh, sacrificed himself and uh, changed his character which I started to really admire him much. And this is the two towers. There we go, that's Aragorn. Lord of the Rings, uh, Return of the King. Peter Jackson, okay, interesting. Uh, can't wait to watch all the appendices because I've never got to uh, watch through with all of them okay I've already watched the Lord of the Rings extended edition um, but I've never got the chance to uh, you know watch some of the bonus features of it and here are the blu-rays so we got Return of the King Two Towers Fellowship of the Ring Battle of the Five Armies, Desolation of Smog, and The Unexpected Journey. So we start from The Unexpected Journey, the first film, the prequel of Lord of the Rings. And there's nothing in the CD, unfortunately. Nothing in the case. I wish they could have added some more content, like maybe some artworks, you know, and add some little uh, details with the Blu-ray. So, yeah. Then we move on to Desolation of Smog. Here you go. Very lame content inside, which is a bit disappointing, but don't really, that's just a little bit of you know, one of my picky issues, but yep, that's just me. All right. Then Battle of the Five Armies. Nothing cool in it. Okay, there we go. Here's the back. Thorin. Now we move on to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Fellowship of the Ring. Here's the back cover. First movie disc. Here's the second. Some special features. Unfortunately, with the when it comes to the special features, they're not actually Blu-ray. Uh, they're just a standard DVD, which I'm a bit disappointed about it. But regardless, it's better than nothing, right? Here's two towers. And... So features, all right, appendices. Let's 
let's see. Hmm. There we go. And last but not the least, Return of the King. Okay. This too. Some special features. Appendices again. Another appendices. And behind the scenes. All right. There you go. And that's the entire uh, Lord of the Rings Blu-ray set. Uh, six film extended editions, 30 this set. And yep, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy my unboxing of the Hobbit trilogy and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So this is your boy uh, Trunks, the House of Trunks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.